Hi, my name is Paul Willard. I'm a Chicago-based musician, and I work in a variety of acts in the area that incorporate the DNF 400 in a variety of ways. Um, I want to show you a few ways that I use it for my acts. Um, my main act is a solo act, which is a one-man band thing uh, using backing tracks, and it's all request format. So, you know, people are coming up to me throughout the night with a song list, um, you know, requesting certain songs, and I can just call them up on the fly and play them. Um, I also work in two different bands, a band called Otapo Ini, which is a kind of a Caribbean show band. We also use it for that um, on the occasions that we do use uh, backing tracks. Um, additionally, I'm in a Pink Floyd tribute band called Echoes, and uh, the DNF 400 is ideal for that, for using uh, the, you know, the sound effects that come with Pink Floyd, the cash registers and plane crashes and everything that comes with you know, a Pink Floyd sound. Um, I use it for all three acts. Um, we'll start with the, the solo act. The DNF 400 is, is great for the solo act. Um, first of all, it works on an SD card. I uh, use an SD HC card, it's got plenty of memory. You just plug it into the slot up front here, and that's all there is to it. Everything you've got, your entire act, I've got over 200 songs in my act. Um, you know, it's, it's um, not even half of an 8 gig. Uh, SD card, so it's got plenty, you know, you, uh, this SD card will hold plenty of information for your act. And the nice thing about that is, it's all WAV files. Um, while it will play MP3s, uh, the nice thing about it is that it plays uncompressed waves perfectly and does much better sound quality than if you're compressing and trying to play off an iPod or a laptop or something like that. Um, once you've got the car loaded in, on your remote here, the RC, um, it will show you your main screen shows you all your songs up here. Okay, and through this wheel on the right hand side here, you can scroll through your songs. Somebody request Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. <laughs> it's that simple. Find the song, click play, and you go. Um, it's also got a variety of playback functions so that you can set it up to play one song and stop, run a playlist, you know, you know, set it to, to con play continually. Um, <clears throat> for my application, obviously I like it to play once and stop. You know, I play the requested song and it shuts off. Um, and it's that simple. You, 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 you dial up on the wheel and you go. And like I have, the, like I, I talked about the different bands, I have the solo act file on here. I also have the uh, Pink Floyd act on here. Also, in the Pink Floyd act, Echoes, um, Naturally, there's a ton of sound effects that come with uh, that kind of band. Uh, what we do is we use these buttons down here. These are your hotkeys. And you can program any, any sound you've got up here, or song you've got up here, to play automatically by pressing one of these buttons. There's 20 buttons down here. And uh, certainly, you know, maybe as a DJ or a solo act, you've got your, your top 20, the ones you know you're going to get asked to play, and you can just have them ready on the fly. In the Pink Floyd band, what we do is we organize the show in order by sound effects. So the sound man has this back of the board, and when we get to the thin ice, He presses three, and off we go. Uh, likewise, you know, the next song up is Money. So you see, you can organize an entire show this way. You can organize an entire show this way, have the whole thing queued up. It'd be great for theatrical applications too, if you're running a, a, a play or whatever where you, you know, you have certain sound effects in a certain order every time. There you go. With O Taboini, the show band, uh, we do a couple songs that are uh, sort of performance pieces, blue man group kind of things, and uh, we play the tracks on those because the percussion section comes out front and plays. The DNF 400. Um, is, just, is a very good workhorse for that kind of application. It, it sounds great over a band. Um, it's very easy to use. Again, it's, it's back with the sound guy. It's also got a contact closure for uh, a remote control foot controller that will allow you to start and stop, go to the next track with your foot if you're 
you're playing. Uh, certainly that might be something that would work for my application. I don't use it as of yet, but it sounds like a really good idea. Something I'll be looking at in the future.